Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a budget build and the reason why I want to do this is I want to test out this flight controller. This is the Racer Star Star F3S. So this is a flight controller, PDB, ESC, all-in-one and even has an OSD. So this is pretty awesome. So what I want to do is I'm, I'm going to stick it on this frame right here and these motors. Now why am I doing this kind of setup? It's actually because I'm sick of breaking my my other ones the, the more expensive ones and I just want one just to have fun and not worry about breaking or losing so this is gonna be and at the same time we're gonna be testing these guys and I have never ever flown the racer star 26,000 kV and this is the 26,000 kV motors these are the 2205 so this should be an overall efficient and not a power hungry build but it should be fairly enjoyable so I'm very curious how much of a difference this is going to be compared to the other ones that I have built on the channel and how good it's going to fly. So for parts we're going to be using the Hippo frame or the Real AAC purple. If I had a choice I would go with the purple. I'll leave a link description below. Just because it has cutouts for the GoPro. This one doesn't. And um, for camera I'm going to be using this Foxeer clone. It's the same uh, sensor inside so it's really the same thing. Motors we're going to be using the Racer Star. 2205S motors, these are 2600 kV. And for VTX, we're going to use the Eosheen TX526. It's a 25, 200, and 600 milliwatt selectable 40 channel transmitter. And like I mentioned before, this is the all in one ESC PDB flight controller from Racer Star. It's called this is the F3 version. So there's an F4 and F3, and this is the F3. And it's rocking OSD, so I think this is going to be pretty fun. Now, I'm not sure if this is beta flight OSD or just a regular OSD, but uh, we'll figure it out soon enough. So overall, I mean, just all we really have to do is solder wires from this guy to this guy into the motors and uh, take power from here to this guy, and we're, we're done. It's just, it's going to be very quick an easy build. However, what's going to take a bit of time now is for me to extend the wires because they're not going to reach uh, inside. So uh, let me prepare the standoffs and then uh, we'll take it from there. Alright guys, so uh, I had to remove the XC60 connector or else it wouldn't fit. Now what we have to do is when we're going to put it on, we have to slide the back on first and then put it on and then it'll go on. And then we have just enough clearance. So. But there's another little problem, which is going to be very annoying. Uh, the XT, I mean the USB is in the front here, so yeah. But that's fine. So let's just prepare the pads right now. And then we'll take it from there and figure it out as we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the ESCs. And it's awesome since they're already in the right configuration. So we have, you know, ESC 1, 2, 3, 4. So that'll make our life easier. But, you know, the problem is, um, or just the annoying part, not the problem, is that we have to extend those wires, and I, I really, I don't know, I just find it time-consuming and annoying sometimes. <clears throat> so I had it set to, like, 490 degrees, just because I was removing the XT60 connector. And, um, yeah. Alright. This should have some solder on it, because I used it earlier. When I was testing it. Seems okay, it seems noisy. Um... Some people said it was alright, but then all of a sudden it started getting noise. When something's alright and all of a sudden it starts getting noise, that means uh, you probably crashed and your VTX uh, is out of place. So, is this S bus, S bus? Hmm. Here we have RX1, and I really hope it's not connected with this guy. But usually they are. We have a buzzer there. Five volt S bus ground, five volt video in, video out ground. All right. Well, once we get there, we'll figure it out. So we have the ESCs soldered in place, and we have nothing on the back here. 
All right. <clears throat> All right, guys. So I extended the wires and I put heat shrink to keep them nice and clean, and we just put tape or zip ties. But I usually recommend tape because I've ruined motors with zip ties, where in a crash this got caught and just annihilated the insides here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them to length here. And let's zoom in real quick. All right. So I'm gonna cut them to length. It doesn't matter the orientation. We'll just flip them in beta flight. So that should be good. So you don't wanna cut too much and you don't wanna cut. Well, it's fine. If we get, we're just gonna end up. So if we do it like this, so actually what I recommend we do is we just put tape to hold them right here, all the corners. And then from there we could tape it, uh, then we could solder and then it'll be a clean solder. So yeah, let me just put tape real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so this is a lot better like this. Now we can be able to solder them nice on here. And it, like I said, it doesn't matter the orientation. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting these. And since the heat shrink is not letting it bend too much here, so right there is good for this one. I'll cut a little bit, a little bit of this guy. Just move him away. So I think this is going to be pretty nice. I'm actually going to even put motor guards on here just to you know expand the life of these because these motors are not that durable well I haven't broken one because I don't fly them much so I don't know but I have friends telling me that they're a bit weak but I mean you can't expect much for what twenty dollars for a pair of four or thirty I've had these for so long I just just had them in the house so um, I kinda wanna use them because um, I just do I just don't wanna leave them just in the house and um, I've never tried them and I really wanted to try them so this is the chance it was between DYS fire and these motors but I don't know at the last moment I just decided these motors because I'm so sick of breaking my other quads um, I just spent two days fixing all of them up and it was just a headache so this one's I, I really don't mind I'm just gonna go crazy with this one Hopefully it can hold out, and if it's, if we like it, if it's good, um, then we could probably, or we can make this our cheap motor test quad for the channel. So that'll be fun also. The thing is, I hate. I wish all motors came with longer wires because it's very annoying to. It's, it's very time consuming to actually to actually extend the wires on the motors and it's just it's very annoying very annoying so but luckily we got it so that's fine there we go that's fine so that's good. So I'm gonna skip over the rest and I'll be right back guys. And then after when I, when I come back, we're gonna add the camera wires and the receiver and we're gonna add a, we're gonna add a low ASR capacitor to this guy. And we're also going to set up the wires for the VTX from here. So let me get that out of the way and I'll be right back. All right guys, so everything is on, it's soldered on, it's nice. Now we're gonna start with the, I think camera, I think would be the best way to start. So we're going to start with the camera here, and there is the camera wire, and this is it. Alright, so let's take a look here. Alright, so here we have ground S bus 5 volt, so this will be for the receiver. Here we have 5 volt, okay, video out, video, video in, video out, ground, so we're going to ground the camera here. And then we're going to ground the VTX and power from the VTX here. And then the video out would be the yellow line for the VTX. So let me pair those wires and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, um, I thought I was recording, but it turns out that the camera was dead the whole time. So 
So you guys, anyways, let's just take a look at what happened. So I soldered the receiver on the S-Bus. Now I-Bus worked, so I'm thinking there is no inverter here, but I could be wrong. So I-Bus works, camera working perfect, five volts running, video is right there. And I took power and ground and, as, and I w also added low ASR capacitor because I am sure it's gonna need one. However, I should have made this shorter but let's see, yeah, it's a bit scary here. Unless we put some kind of heat shrink around this whole guy right here. So actually, let's see if we can do that now. Hopefully it'll fit somehow. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign. That's a good start. That's very good. Let's see if we can get this guy in. going in yeah, this is very bad all right so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make this a little bit shorter now so we're gonna do that in a bit now let's just check if it's working hopefully there's no smoke um I have already cheated but we're just gonna double check I've not tried to arm it I've set it up on beta flight just now so where is the battery all right so let's see okay okay that's good oh that helped me out too all right so let's arm it that's good no jitters no nothing Everything is going great with this build. Actually, it's very nice. Look at it. It's very clean. This is everything right here. So I think it's going to look pretty sexy as well with the top on. So, yeah. Let me just skip over this because it's going to be very long and time-consuming and annoying to watch me do it. So I'm going to skip over this part. And then um, I'll fix that up right now. And then we can continue from there. All right. See. All right, guys. So everything is good. Everything is awesome. And now what we're going to do is we're going to secure the receiver I've already secured the VTX it's gonna need a little bit more because it doesn't fit flush between them but luckily I have very strong double-sided tape which is just always a must to have so I guess this double-sided tape could hold like 5 or 10 kilos or something I don't know and uh, as time goes on it just basically feels like it's glued but then you could remove it and it provides dampening so that's pretty awesome However, it sticks to specific surfaces better than others. I found the heat shrink on the, the VTX, just like the, the, with this tape, they just love each other for some reason. I don't know why. So as you can see, I mounted it to the camera because I just checked and it actually will fit. So and then when we close it, we have to push it from the back to the front and voila. Wow, looks nice. I wish I had different color motors. Maybe we could buy purple motors later once we destroy them actually looks very nice wow i did not expect this at all and it's clean inside so this is gonna be my fun quad that i'm just gonna go crazy with oh i should have put the motor protectors on where are they i think i put them here somewhere yeah or that would ruin it some black ones or some red ones bought a bunch of these when i first started and i just never use them so when I first started into FPV and, and drones and stuff, I have like, I don't know, like five of these different colors and stuff. But I really want to take care of these motors. Well, not the motors, just this quad. I really want to just have fun with it. But also, um, actually, let's see how much it weighs. Hold on. So hopefully it flies and doesn't need much of anything. By the way, I love F3 flight controllers more than F4, but that's just my, my preference. Wow, it's a very light one. Well, it's not very light, but it's 276 grams. So this one should buy, should fly pretty good. Motors are weak, but that, that's fine. It's not that heavy. Um, components are decent, I would say. I think you, you could have a lot of fun with this. And, and I believe I am going to have a lot of fun with this. I don't know yet. We're going to take it out. But I believe this whole setup like this is around $150. So $150 for if it flies good that that's just amazing, you know, 
uh, maybe next step, you know, someone who wants to do the same build as me, you could set up um, some of those uh, Racer Star 2306 motors. So, yeah. Um, anyways, this looks like a good one. But I really can't say much. But other than that, I'm very excited to go fly. Like, very excited. Um, just because it's, you know, it's like a little nice cheapy one. You know, it's like a budget FPV quad. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but it actually looks good. Maybe I should have used yellow heat shrink, but I, I think I didn't have that, so I didn't use it. But anyways, who cares? Um, we take it out for a flight tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll be good. So, yeah, that's about good. If, it, if I like it, you'll know when I put a GoPro lens on there. That means I like the squad. And, uh, yeah, those GoPro lenses are just amazing. They just change everything. But anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And... If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, just feel free to let me know.